prophesy to yourself say before that means there is always something before you whether or not you can see it there is always something before you a greater today a greater tomorrow in God's economy 2024 should be by far by far greater than 2023 can I prophesy over someone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by December this year you will stand shedding tears of joy because of the mighty things that God would have done in your life hey for someone though your beginning be small let me speak to you there is a grace that lifts men right from where they are to the place of grace and glory I speak that to your life I speak that to your finances I speak that to your ministry I speak that to your health in the name of Jesus Christ hear me God can make men great oh I hope you believe that it is within his power to make men great so an ordinary man supposedly nobody who is seated here whether inside or outside no one may know you now but that by December all men are looking for you I'm not entertaining you oh I say to whoever has the grace to believe in the name of Jesus may my God place something on your head this night may my God place an unction upon your head this night it will compel nations to call for you it will compel territories to seek you in the name of Jesus Christ in Mark chapter 1 and verse 37 the Bible says Jesus departed to a solitary place to pray after the exploits of his crusades mark 1 37 the bible says and they began to look for him and when they found him they said unto him all men seek for thee there are graces when you carry some men will seek for you there are graces when you carry your tribes men will seek for you there are graces when you carry poor men will seek for you. There are graces when you carry troublemakers will seek for you. But there are graces when you carry all men. All men means kings. All men mean nobles. All men include strangers that do not know you. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? Everything that is a covering cast over you that will not allow the glory of God to be revealed in the name of Jesus I came by the anointing of the Spirit I tear it like a veil I tear it like a veil over your help them please I tear it like a veil I tear it like a veil in the name of Jesus I say it to you again every covering cast of darkness over your life that will not let the glory of God be revealed I came by fire and I came with power this night let it be torn in the name of Jesus remember you know the former things everything that stopped you from rising last year and made the year look as if you were cursed I don't know what it is called but in the name of Jesus everything that is not of the Christ you have watched it hold people down I will not let them go forward I stand like Moses and I declare this year go forward I push you by prophecy go forward go forward advance help that gentleman go forward excel excel in ministry I place an anointing upon you excel in business excel in family excel in the name of Jesus where you have been deserted so that no man will pass through you I call you an eternal excellency hear me in the name of Jesus the anointing for speed I place that anointing on you now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now 
I release that grace. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed in destiny. Speed in career. May my God take 10 years and put it in one year. 10 years and put it in one year. I'm hearing in my spirit shame I don't know who that is for shame everything that has looked like shame is like a mark on your head everywhere you go it attracts shame I don't know who this word is for but in the name of Jesus that cause of shame be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now shame and reproach in ministry be broken now shame and reproach in business career failure be broken now i want you to pray a prayer and then we'll continue say in the name of jesus i obtain grace to advance grace to go forward open your mouth and begin to pray grace grace to advance you are gaining momentum in the spirit don't be silent pray grace to advance this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and reaching for the things that are before me. For in Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray please be seated for a minute give us Philippians chapter 3 again I want you to look at verse 14 very carefully verse 14 the power of God is mighty in this place you came to church tonight how will you go back the same no no for God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent I'm hearing a prophetic word for someone is one word again 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 is a prophetic word this is not the first time I'm hearing it in a meeting is the word again I am coming to you again you are rising again ah. what you once held that left you by carelessness again God is bringing it again it's not for everyone but i'm saying it to someone you lost opportunities relationships resources my god is bringing it again restoring again lifting you again giving you visibility again please be seated I'm seeing fire fall. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. I'm seeing fire fall. Fire fall. Oh, let it fall, let it fall. Let it give you wings in the spirit. Wings to fly, wings to soar, wings to fly, wings to soar. In the name of Jesus. Holy, holy, bless her. 
that is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, oh, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, oh, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he. Blessed is he who comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Let's tidy this up. The time we have. But I want you to be sensitive. Something is happening to your spirit, man. Listen. You see. You must learn to discern spiritual atmospheres. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. There are two ladies I'm seeing in the choir right now. I just saw fire just coming on them. Two of you in the name of Jesus. I don't know what that impartation is for. But may that grace cause you to ascend in the spirit. Ascend in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. hallelujah i know we're discussing along the lines of the team but the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a man of god and the lord is saying his gift to you tonight is the spirit of revelation you have been praying you have been crying this is a minister of the gospel wherever that man is whether inside or outside in the name of jesus i call upon the god that gives men the one who can open the eyes of men to see in the name of Jesus like the dew of Hammon may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now am I wasting your time I just sense that God is beginning to I was to teach something now but I just sense there is a stirring. Someone's fasting has touched the heart of God. Someone's praying has touched the heart of God. Take it high for me, please. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Rest on me, let your power, Holy Ghost power, rest on me, rest on me, let oh, oh, rest on me, oh, oh, rest on me, oh, oh, rest on me, Holy Ghost power, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, Spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit for signs and wonders rest on me, rest on me. Oh, oh, oh rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, oh, oh rest on me. Oh, 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 Someone begin to pray. Rest on me. Rest on me, oh God. The power to prosper. Rest on me. The spirit of wisdom. Rest on me.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're having a little chat with Pastor, and I was just commending on the grace that God has brought and multiplied upon his life, the ministry spreading across. I want to release a grace for visibility. If you like, believe it. If you like, don't believe it. But there is a grace that gives men visibility. Hear me. Just because you are graced and gifted does not mean the nations will hear you. There are many gifted people who have been kept down. The Bible says Gideon sounded a trumpet and 33,000 people showed up. Where they came from, we do not know. But there was a trumpet that they had. And they began to gravitate towards him. There is a grace that when it rests upon you, you cannot be small. No. It's true. Because many of you here, I sense in my spirit, you are faithful, you are diligent. But that grace that becomes a leverage is not there. I pray for someone here. In the name that is above all names, the grace that gives men visibility that will cause your voice that will cause your product that hear ye him anointing may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Please be seated.